Now welcome to Emilac Online Tutorial. Now let us look at this physics question and it says that a uniform stick AB of length L and mass M is balanced horizontally on a knife edge 10 cm from A when an object of mass 400 gram is suspended at A. Now when the knife edge is moved 5 cm further, the object has to be moved to a point 9.0 cm from A for the stick to be balance now let's have a pictorial diagram of the question now in the first case because i we we are having two cases here in the first case let us have it here that this is a and this is b which depicts the uniform stick a b and from here to here is l right so now our center here which represents the mass of the stick m all right so and at point 8 here i mean at point a an object of 400 is suspended here 400 gram okay now and uh, is balanced horizontally 10 centimeter from a so this knife edge Now from here to here is 10 centimeter. All right. So and uh, to this point here, now if from here to here is 10 centimeter, now it definitely means take note that from here to this point is L. Now and if here is the center, it implies that from here to here will be L all over 2. Now let us A here. Now if from here to here is L. Okay. So and at this point here we get to see. So here from here to here also from here to here will definitely be let me make it here. That will be L all over 2. Okay, now to this time here, we, it implies that from here to here, from the knife edge to the center of the uniform stick will then be L all over 2 minus 10. Okay, alright. That being said, now this is the first case. Now for the second case, still at the center M. Now from here A and this is our B. Now we are told that the knife edge is moved five centimeters further, which means this knife edge here now is moved from here to a particular distance, which is five centimeters further. And if we add five centimeters to ten here, it definitely means the distance from A to where the recent the knife edge will then be after moved after being moved five centimeter ahead will now be 15. so from here then now let us assume here is where the knife edge is so from here to here is 15 and that is 10 plus the five centimeter that is now included okay now and we are told that for the stick also for the uh, for the uniform stick to be balanced now the object has to be moved to a point 0.9 cm which means this mass was now moved let's say here 400 gram so 9 cm then if here is 9 cm definitely here would then be six centimeter okay and let us remember that from here to here is l all over two and from here also to this point is l all over two and which implies that if from here to here is 15 and from here to here is l all over two it implies that from here down to the center will also be let me just put it out here will then be 
L all over 2 minus 15 meter. Okay? Now, this is now the two cases. Now, for, and we are told to determine the mass. Now, let us take note that we have a uniform rule, which means the length here is the same thing as the length here. All right, now for us to find the mass, now for the first case here, let me put this on the first case and here the second case. Okay, now for the first case here, let's take a moment about the knife edge. Okay, and we know that the sum of anti-clockwise, sum of clockwise moment must be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moment. Okay, now for this end, the clockwise moment is this point. So this is M and we are taking it to take a moment about uh, the knife edge. So here we have M now times the distance which is L all over 2 minus 10. Okay, then equals the mass here times the distance 10 centimeter. That will be 400 times 10 centimeter okay all right so to this end let's make l the subject of formula now to this end dividing both sides by m so you have l all over 2 minus 10 equals 4000 all over m now where l may have we eliminate this so to this point Let's multiply 2 to both sides. By multiplying 2, we have to eliminate. So here you have 2 times L all over 2, then uh, minus 2 times 10, which will then give us 2 times 4,000 all over M. Okay? By so doing, you have 2 here, we eliminate 2. So we come over here. We have that this is L then minus 20 equals 8,000 over M. So adding 20 to both sides, for us to eliminate 20 from the left-hand side, we then have that L that will give us 8,000 all over M plus 20. Now, this is the first case, and let us make it equation 1. Okay, now let's now move to the second case here. Now for the second case here, we apply the same rule that the sum of the clockwise moment equals to the sum of the anti-clockwise moment. Okay, now to this end, how we have, now take a moment about the knife edge also, then our mass times the distance. So here we have, now for the second case, here you have M, times L over 2 minus 15, then equals, now in this case here, this will now be 400 times uh, 6 centimeter, okay, because this is the anti-clockwise and this is the clockwise. So here we have 400 times 6. Now you may be wondering why I didn't make this of 9. Now we are taking moments about this, uh, knife edge and it starts from the mass so the distance this mass covers from the knife edge is what we are considering and not the one uh before the mass okay all right so in this case also let us make m the subject of relation here now let us divide both sides by m so M, we eliminate M, we end up having L all over 2 minus 15, then equals 400 times uh, 6, that should give us 2,400 all over M. Now multiplying 2, for, for us to eliminate these two here, to both sides, means you have 2 times L all over 2, then minus 2 times 15, then equals to 2 into 2,400 all over M. So, 2 we eliminate 2. So, here you have L minus 30, then equals uh, 4,800 M. Now, 
adding 30 to both sides, our L end up becoming 40, I mean, 4,800 all over M plus 30. This is equation 2. Alright, now let us remember that in the first and the second case, the length of the stick AB is the same. Now, and if that is true, it means we can equate L here in equation 1 and L in equation 2. Now, equating both sides here, we then have from equation 1, we have 8,000 all over M plus 20, then equals equation 2, 4,800 M plus 30. Okay? Now, let us collect like them. So, you have 8,000 all over M. Now, taking 4,800 over M over to the right, left hand side, it becomes negative. That will be take away 4, 800 all over m then equals taking positive 20 over to the right hand side become negative we have 30 minus uh 20. so at the end of the day now since m and m are of the same uh sorry we have the same denominator here so we can liken this to 8000 minus uh 8,000 minus 4,800, that should give us uh, 3,200 all over M, then equals 10. So, in this case now, we can see here that M, M then equals 3,200 divided by 10. Okay, we just, you know, cross multiply. So, then our M equals 320 gram. Okay, now for us to calculate the length. Sorry, can you let me make use of this part of the board? Alright, for our M here. Now, we can either make use of equation 1 or equation 2. Now, let us make use of equation 1. So, that will be L equals 8,000 all over our M here is gotten here to be 320 now plus 20 okay so to that end we can see 8,000 let me punch my calculator now divided by 320 and that should give us 25. So L will give us 25 plus 20. So many top we have 45 centimeter. All right. If you love what I've just done, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos. Thank you and God bless you.